The process of educating your companion requires a lot of patience and calm to benefit both you and your cat. In this Animal Wise video, we explain the 5 most common mistakes when you discipline a cat so that you can avoid them and better understand your feline. Don't provide alternatives. Many guardians have wrong expectations about how cats should behave and neglect their essential needs. For example, cats need to hiss and scratch at something which bothers them. Trying to stop this kind of behaviour through punishment is like not letting them sleep when they need to. When we try to do this, the cat becomes stressed and will perform these behaviours in inappropriate ways, such as scratching furniture. This is why we need to redirect these behaviours in a more positive way for the both of you. A good example is purchasing an appropriate scratching post and bring them to it when they scratch something else. This is the same with behaviours such as meowing, marking or excessive hissing. We need to determine the cause of the behaviour to improve their well-being, something you won't achieve through punishment. Discover the best accessories for your cat's environmental enrichment in the video we share here. Yelling or physically assaulting them. You should never disproportionately scold a cat as they cannot understand why you are angry or what they can do to avoid it. The feline may end up confused and associate this negative experience with you, causing them to fear your presence. To train a cat, it's very important to be subtle and avoid generating negative emotions which they may associate with you. Rather than scolding them, what you should do is dissuade them from behaving inappropriately by redirecting behaviours correctly. It is always preferable to opt for positive reinforcement than negative. Force them to smell their stool or urine. There is a belief that forcing a cat to smell their eliminations will help them understand they shouldn't do it in a certain place. In reality, this action is inappropriate and cruel. Doing it this way is not only an ineffective training method, but it can cause the cat to become stressed. This will only cause them to urinate or defecate inappropriately more. Find the underlying cause and treat it. To know more about understanding your cat, check out this video on why cats meow at you. Be incoherent. When educating a cat, it's very important to be consistent. You cannot scold your cat for something that you sometimes allow them to do. For example, if you don't want them to jump on the table, never let them do it. If you sometimes allow them to go up, but other times you scold them for doing so, your cat will not be able to understand. It's particularly important to be consistent in their education from the time they are a kitten. You shouldn't allow them to do things they shouldn't do as an adult so as not to confuse them. Punish after the fact. Finally, one of the most common mistakes is trying to correct a cat much after they have done something inappropriate. For example, scolding them when we get home after they have caused damage earlier in the day. In these situations, even if you are seriously annoyed, your cat is unable to understand the cause of your anger and will begin to feel insecure with you. The key to success is to offer them correct environmental enrichment, to be consistent in their education and to opt for positive reinforcement. Tell us, do you and your cat understand each other perfectly? Here and in the description, we share a video in which you can learn everything about feline body language. We'll see you next time.